My sink leaks right here. When I work my handle, it, water comes out down here. Plus, water never quits dripping from here. All right, I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this video. First thing you wanna do is find your main water shut off and shut the water off to your house, okay? Next thing you wanna do is you wanna find the proper kit for your, uh, the proper kit for your faucet. Now I've gotten mine at Lowe's. You can probably do this at Home Depot or other, other hardware stores. I found the proper kit and the kit comes with all of this stuff right here all right it just comes with all kinds of different stuff the first thing you're going to want to do or the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take this funky little tool that they gave you and you want to insert the allen wrench end in there and unscrew that allen bolt so you can remove your handle go ahead and get your handle out of the way okay and you're probably going to find a bunch of crud and junk right there on that so you're going to want to clean that off probably and then you're going to take the other end of your tool that they gave you and you put that on there in these little grooves and that's what helps you get that retainer ring started coming off let's get that off now I put a plate into my sink this plate it's going to hold my parts and also it's going to stop things from going down the drain. If you have one of these, go ahead and put that in the hole. That'll stop uh, loose parts from getting down the drain. I'll be right back with the next step. Once, okay, this, uh, let me just go ahead and tell you. Just take all that crap out of there and remember how it comes out. The next thing that happens once you got that off is you should be able to just take this and unscrew it. All right. Now what you're going to want to do is remember the way this stuff came off. I'm gonna just put these I'm gonna just put these to the side in the order that it came off. Not to mention that if you forget the direction or how they came, how everything came off inside of your your little package of parts that you bought you should have a little diagram of how the parts go back together and which order they do. Okay now let's see where we're at folks. That's where we're at. Next, we ought to be able to take this little thing right off the top. All right, that's that's off. Ball and O-ring coming right out. You see that? That ball and that ring that come off the top of it's out. Okay. That's that point. Now, at that point, at this point right here, I'll take a break. Okay, at this point, this right here just comes right up. It should. Well, I really don't know. I think what I need to do is take the handle off right here. Remove my handle. And let that go through to the bottom let's pull that out the bottom and see what happens okay okay folks as you can see that hose almost went through but not quite and I went ahead and I pulled that piece off which is that neck thing next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig around on the bottom of that and I'm gonna get that o-ring off there's an o-ring right there I'm gonna get that one off then I'm gonna take that o-ring off and I'm gonna replace those two o-rings and if I can see an O-ring on that, I'll replace it also. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, I got my, I don't know if you can see it, but I got my new O-ring on here, and I got a new one on here. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to look down inside, and you're going to find there's already one removed, okay? I did this just so I could show you that one is removed, but here's one. There's going to be a spring set that right there there's gonna be there's gonna be a rubber thing on top of a spring okay and there's gonna be two of those there's gonna be one of those in each one of those holes okay that hole that you see at the top is not included in this that just lets water in I guess or something water out I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and replace those 
with the new ones that came in the kit. Now the kit comes with extras. I'm like, okay, you're gonna say the kit's got stuff that's not supposed to be there. Well, what you wanna do, cause it comes with two different kinds. This comes for the bathroom faucet and for the kitchen faucet. So you wanna match it up. We're gonna use these. Obviously these are not the ones because those are the ones that came out. So we're gonna put the new springs in and then put the new seals over the top of that. Be right back in a minute. Okay folks, on this part, it's very important to make sure that you've got those black rubber seals completely inside of those holes surrounding those springs. Okay, and this is a critical part. Make sure that you've got them both inside there really good and all the way in, all the way seated. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is put your ball back in and you see this slot on the side? There's gonna be a peg right here inside of where it goes. You want that to line up on that peg. Okay, that peg goes in that slot. Next, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna get this thing. That's gonna go over the top of that. All right. And then, we'll see, this, this one's the one that came out with this weird looking slot. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna get that one out of there. And, and again, let me remind you that this leftover stuff is parts that can be used for your bathroom faucet. That's not gonna come into play in this. Now this also has a keyway on it. Okay, if you see that on the side of there, there's a little nub. That is going to go to line up with that little nub there. Okay, let's get all that together and pushed in there correctly and then I'll be back. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the neck. Now remember, I'm gonna just leave this hose down here because it's almost impossible to get that neck on with that hose going through it. So I'm just gonna leave that hose down there and I'm gonna press my neck on like that. Then I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna try to push that hose through. And I'm gonna try to push that hose up through there because that's where I need it to be. Good luck, ask me for, I mean, tell me, wish me some good luck. Okay, that didn't work out too good. What, I'm, what I've done now is I've taken a piece of fishing line and I've just run me a slip knot over that hose and I've run it through my neck. So I'm gonna set the neck down on there and pull on that fishing line and hopefully it'll, it broke. Well, let's try again. Okay, finally, I had to use some hemostats and reach down in there and pull on it and had to wiggle it from the underneath side, under there. Anyway, I finally got it up here and uh, let's uh, go ahead and attach it real quick before it falls back down in there and then we'll go ahead and put our ball and uh, the rest of that in there, hang on. Okay, folks, here's a hint. While you're fishing your hose back up through there, go ahead and put your retainer ring you put your ring on the top that holds that neck down because you need that neck to be all the way down to the bottom with those o-rings if it comes back up you need to take the whole thing out and start all over again because this upper o-ring that's underneath there will slide up on that shaft and if it does that you're gonna have to take it off and put the o-ring back down to where it needs to be so now i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and put the ball in and i'll be back okay folks it just went back together in the reverse order as I took it off, and then I put my went ahead and put my handle on and tightened it up. And as you can see, everything's good with no more leaks. 